Hey guys, it's Chris from Highline Guitars. In this episode of Quick Tips for Luthiers, I'm going to show you how I built this super cheap, easy to make rolling workbench for my workshop. So let's get started. Before I began construction of the workbench, I drew it up on my computer using Rhinoceros 3D software at full size. That way I could determine the size of each part as well as the most efficient way to assemble it. Construction began by cutting the two main support legs from an eight foot long four by four. Cutting a 4x4 with a circular saw is a little bit of a challenge, but in the end it worked out pretty well. Next I cut out all the pieces for the feet and the tabletop supports from three 8 foot long 2x6 lumber. I looked through a lot of boards and selected the straightest, not free boards I could find. The two uh, 4x4 workbench supports were laid out on the floor with two of the cross member supports and I used my tape measure measuring from one corner to the other to make sure that it was square. Most of the screws that I'll use to assemble this workbench are number eight two and a half inch long construction screws and to prevent the wood from splitting I'll drill eight inch diameter pilot holes. I'll be using three screws on each end one at each edge and then one in the center. I partly installed the screws so that just the tip is extending out the other side. That way I can remove that centerpiece, apply some glue, and then uh, reposition the cross member so that the tips of the screws are, are lined up in the holes. Then I install them permanently. The other cross member is installed using the exact same method. I designed the feet and the tabletop supports to be exactly the same and each consists of three pieces which are assembled using the number eight two and a half inch long wood screws. To prevent the wood from splitting, eighth inch diameter pilot holes are drilled in each corner and then the screws are installed. The key to a stable workbench that isn't going to wobble is to make sure that the feet and the tabletop supports fit nice and tight. They're then installed permanently using three of the two and a half inch long uh, number eight wood screws. And as I mentioned before, the feet and the tabletop supports are all identical, so assembly is exactly the same.
To make this bench mobile, I'll be using four three inch diameter locking swivel casters. And these will be installed using number 12, one and a half inch long round head Phillips drive screws. And first I had to drill pilot holes and then I can install the screws without splitting the wood. The casters are designed to be mounted using four screws, one on each corner. Unfortunately, however, I only had 12 total, so I used three per wheel, and that seemed to work fine. With the four casters installed, I now have a mobile work base, which I can roll around my shop. And with the locks engaged, the base doesn't move at all. The last step was to install the plywood top, and in this case I'm using a 2 foot by 4 foot, 3 quarter inch thick sheet of uh, exterior grade plywood, which was held in place using 1 and a quarter inch long construction screws. You'll notice that the tabletop overhangs the ends by a couple of inches, and that's to give me a place to hang all my clamps. Once it was complete, I was really happy with how this workbench turned out. I have almost twice as much space to work with compared to my old bench. Plus, I can roll it around my shop, which makes things so much easier.